If you use the Publish to Word feature in Articulate Presenter, which is what we're looking at right here, and you choose Storyboard for the output type, what you end up with is a Word document that looks uh, something like this. It's got three columns, where the first column is some presentation information, and then the second column shows a thumbnail of each slide, and the third column here shows any slide notes that you've entered for the corresponding slide. What you might have noticed is that if you've inserted into your presentation any interactive SWIFT files or video files, they're going to end up looking like what we see right here. You'll see this black placeholder that shows where the video is on your slide. If you'd like to show a thumbnail of your actual movie rather than use this black placeholder, I want to show you a way that you can do that. So what we're going to do is just take a screenshot of the movie and then insert it so that it covers up that black placeholder. And I've got my movie that I actually used in this course um, open right here. I've just opened it in Windows Media Player. It's an MP4 file. And what I've done is I've hit the play button and then paused it at the point where I want to, you know, take a picture of this movie. So, you know, you can do the same thing if you want to just kind of proceed to the frame that you want to use. And this, this one looks pretty good. So this is the one I'm going to end up using. So if you've got a screenshot tool that you really love, you could use that to take a picture of this movie. I'm going to actually use the screenshot tool that's built right into PowerPoint, which you might know about already, but if you don't, here's how you can use it. I've got an empty PowerPoint file open right here, and what we can do is come up to the Insert tab and then choose Screenshot. And this is going to show us a bunch of open applications, or you can select Screen Clipping if you want to you know, kind of fine tune exactly the area that you take a picture of. So we'll go ahead and try that option. If you choose screen clipping, what happens is everything on your monitor becomes dim like you see here. And then you can click and drag to take a picture of whatever you want. So we're just going to kind of draw a rectangle over that part of the movie that we want to keep. And then it gets inserted right on top of you know whatever is on our slide. In this case, it's just an empty slide. but there is the picture that we want to use. So now we're going to do a control C to copy and then we'll move our PowerPoint file out of the way. Now we can just um, paste this into our Word document. Now what we don't want to do is select the slide thumbnail and then do the paste because what will happen if you do that is the screenshot that we just took is going to actually end up replacing this slide thumbnail. So instead of that what we want to do is position our cursor right after the slide thumbnail. So you can see my cursor is right here flashing. It's going to you know, mean that we can insert something right after this slide thumbnail rather than on top of it or instead of it. So we'll do a control V to paste and there's our screenshot. So now that we've got it into our Word file, what we want to do is size it and position it over our slide thumbnail. And to do that, I'm going to select it up here on the Format tab we've got an option for wrap text and what we want to choose is in front of text and that'll allow us to just position it wherever we want on top of the thumbnail that's already here. So I'm going to size it a little bit. I was holding down my control or my uh, shift key so I can maintain my aspect ratio and I can just kind of position it right over that black placeholder that's currently uh, occupying my slide and that looks about right. You can definitely use your you know, arrow keys along with your control key to fine tune the location of your thumbnail, but that looks about like I want it to look. So if you're creating word output from your rapid e-learning courses, this is a nice way to make your output look a little bit more polished, maybe a little bit more finished if the document is something that you plan on sharing with your learners.